this time of year, I bet your backyard looks a lot like ours, full of these beautiful purple wild violets. My daughter and I are going to harvest some and we'll walk you through the steps to make a wild violet syrup. It's pretty easy and pretty tasty. So when you're harvesting, you really just want the flower head, not the stem or leaves. And it's pretty easy to pluck them right off like this. Before you know it, we'll have this basket full. Purple violets are high on vitamins A and C, and they're very good and edible. They also are very purple. They could be light purple and dark purple. If you find one of these flowers, you will probably see fuzz and light in the middle. That's how you know that these flowers. Okay, so here we have our violets we've picked, and Darwin is gonna measure out three cups of violets. So for every three cups of violets, you'll need one cup of boiling water. So that's one cup of water right there. She's gonna keep measuring and we'll see how many we have. Hey mom, we got 27 cups of violets. Okay, so if we have 27 cups of violets, 27 divided by three is nine. So that means we need nine cups of water. This holds two cups each. Go ahead and fill that up to the red line for us right here. Right here, right up to here mom? Mm -hmm. nine cups of water. Okay, so we will boil the nine cups of water and then we'll pour it over our violet. My mom and an adult should do it for you too. Just pour boiling water on the flowers. Okay, sis, we just wanna take the spoon and press the flowers down into the water, into the hot liquid. Try to get as many flowers in touch with the hot liquid as possible. Be careful because as you can see, it is steaming. It's not very hot. I pushed them down. Now we have to put a towel and let it sit for 24 hours. Okay, so first we have to strain the violets. to make sure we got all the liquid out. Like if I break the spoon, that's not gonna be good. So how much liquid did we get? Uh, we got six cups. Okay, so the recipe actually calls for a cup and a half of sugar to every cup of liquid, but we're gonna simplify that and just do one cup of sugar for each cup of liquid. So how many cups of sugar do we need? Six. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do this six more times and then we'll check back in with you when we need to heat it on the stove. Okay, what do you think is gonna happen when we pour the liquid into the sugar and warm it up? I think it might, well, it might melt. Okay, let's try it. Why don't you pour the violet water into the sugar? This is heavy. Yeah, really carefully. Can you do it? Yes, I can. Good job. Oh. All right, so have a parent help you. If you do Heat this. the water and sugar on the stove. We don't want it to come to a boil. Here, you can scoot over a little bit, sis. We want to heat it just so the sugar melts. And I would recommend stirring it a little so it doesn't just melt at the bottom and stay there and come on it. So you should still slurry and feel the bottom to make sure it's heating up. Also, you can feel it over. 
Pot. <laughs> You're a pot of brew. You have finished stirring, and when the sugar melts, you can put it in the fridge in any container you'd like and store it in the fridge for six weeks at least. If you want, you could add it to sparkling water and have a fun color beverage. And smells good too. Should I taste it? Sure. Mm, that's, that's really good. It's like sparkling honey.